Welcome to the video. Here I am, I'm gonna edit some photos. We just came back from Yellowstone, super pretty. So I'm gonna go through those photos, take you guys along. You get to see those awesome photos, listen to my soothing voice. Every day I get compliments on my soothing voice. Every day, it's countless. I can't tell you how much. And uh, some incredible lame jokes, you know? Let's, let's see how it goes. Okay, so let's, uh, let's get into it. So this first part here, we're um, basically just gonna be going through and rating photos. This is kind of my process, cool branch, tree, not sure what I was doing. Anyway, um, pretty already. See, look at that. Starting off with a banger. That is a gorgeous photo. It's a gorgeous place. This was the uh, Grand Canyon of Yellowstone. I'd never been here. I've been to Yellowstone many times, but I've never been to the Grand Canyon of Yellowstone somehow. I Trust me, I wish I'd been there sooner too. Um, but anyway, so we're just going to go through and rate photos so then we know which photos I like the best and which ones that just kind of scrap, I guess you could say. Um, so we'll just, we'll give that, give that a three. It's out of five. We'll give it a three for now. Eh, let's bump it up to four. We're going to bump it up to four. And um, I like that. Let's, we'll give that another four. Give that another four. Okay, we've got a landscape here. We need a landscape. You know, let's just give another four. As you can tell, I like fours. Ooh, what's better? What's better? I like this one. Good photo though, don't like the branch. I knew it was there. I think I got one without it. Nice, look at that. Yeah, that's a banger. I'm gonna give that a five. That's, that's a five for sure, right? That's pretty cool. All right, all right, moving along. We'll give that another five, might as well. Okay, this, we were driving through and there's of course traffic, it's Yellowstone, you know, every 20 feet you go, there's a whole pile of cars. Um, Hopefully not literally, but you know what I mean. Um, beautiful elk. Look at that. That's too many prongs to count. That's that's what it, that's what that is. But super pretty elk. He was just hanging out inside of the road. This was a lady's hat. That blue part. Yeah, she was just walked right on in my photo. Unbelievable. I guess that's what you get for Yellowstone. And it's okay. You know what? It's okay. So such a pretty animal. Like that has to be so heavy. How is his head up? His body's laying down, but his head's up. I, I would not, if I had, if I had antlers like that, no way would my head be staying up. I would be laying that down 24-7. That's pretty. Bad photos, but just a pretty animal. Ooh, okay, then we were driving, of course, another 20 yards, and Dylan spotted a eagle. By the way, Dylan's my girlfriend. Most of you probably know that, because she's kind of always in my content. She'll probably be in the stream. She gets off work soon. But um, anyway, so this is her. This is, uh, I don't know if it's just a national park hat, if that's, I think it's a, she's wearing a, we're just gonna browse, skip to, she's wearing a Park City shirt. I, th I don't think the hat and the shirt relate. I don't know why I'm talking about the hat and shirt right now, but it's very interesting. So anyway, she spotted the eagles you're cruising. So of course she pulled over and uh, look at that. I'll give it a four. You know what? Send that to whoever owns that hat company. Might as well, might as well. Um, Cruising along, that's okay. I don't see your face at all, which is not ideal, but it's still just kind of a cool photo. Action shot, there she is! And again, and again, she gets happier and happier. That's awesome. I tend to, okay, so I'm actually gonna label that a six. A six is red, so then zero to five are uh, numbers, and then six to nine on the keyboard are colors. So I, that's just the way I organize it. Six is red, I typically just make Dylan red because she's in most of my photos, so it's right there. And then if I'm with someone else, then they're a yellow, which is seven on the keyboard, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so she's, she's, a, she's a red, because I want to save that photo of her. I want to save all these of her, so. Okay. That whole little series right there. Look how happy she is. Okay, um, then we moved on to the eagle. <sighs> She's a beauty. She's a beauty. Am I still talking about Dylan? You tell me. Um, no, that's gorgeous. I don't love all the little black spots coming in. They must have been branches. But we'll give it a three. We'll give it a three. I, I tend to not rate things if they're a two, one, or zero, because zero, obviously, no point. One. It's just like, why, and same with two. Um, a few portraits. I do have a plan for one of these photos. I'll show you what it is though, and then you'll see me edit it. It's gonna be cool, it's gonna be cool, it's gonna be cool. Anyway, um, it was hard because this was 400 millimeter. You can see in the top right here, 400 millimeters, ISO 500, 1250 shutter speed. So with a 7.1 f-stop. So 
I was zoomed in as much as I as my lens could go, but it still is just not. It's just not close enough to get like an actual, like good shot. So I don't know. Then we we kind of went down a little bit. Now we're at the bottom of, at the bottom of the river. We were like up high by the road, and then we just went down the bank, and uh, so I like this this background a little bit better. It's just a little more interesting, but the bird pops better here. I don't know. Um, cool photos. Tree line. Bird. Two birds. Okay, I think, all right, this is gonna be, we're gonna write this five just so I can come back to it. <laughs> what I'm gonna do for this photo, okay, so you see the, the tree coming up and then the, you know, the branch that the eagle is sitting on, I'm gonna, it, it kinda, it's like a pole in like part of the bottom of a flag for an American flag, right? So I'm gonna Photoshop in an American flag with the bald eagle, like, if I execute it well, it's gonna be pretty cool. So that's that's the plan. So we're gonna mark that as five just so we can keep it there. Plus it's just kind of a cool photo. So that and then, nice, nice. Yeah, Dylan really liked these of mine. She took a little video when I first, when I showed her that I got this shot because she just loves this shot. Hey, Lynn. I took this photo through a tiny crack in a tree through the branches of all of you. And there he is. That was come come, I'll show you the crack. <gasps> show us the crack, show us the crack. Right through. You're gonna which is basically right through that tiny little jumble. Yeah. Somewhere oh, in so, there. So oh. so so yeah, I won't be able to <laughs> you. right. Kinda basically that jumble. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Masterpiece. I think it's great too. I think she likes it more than I do. She really likes it. I like it. I like this one better. But um I don't know. It's it's cool, but it doesn't totally do it for me, you know? There's more Dylan. Very dark, I'm aware. Nice. We'll give that a six. Save that one. 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 I like to save a lot of Dylan. <laughs> um, pretty bison, not the best shot. Bad lighting, I mean, it's just, it's the middle of the day, there's nothing you can do about it, just bad lighting. But still fun, still good excursions. Fun with the camera. That's pretty, the water flowing there. Uh, we'll save, we'll give it a three. It's a nice photo of the bison. He's a very majestic man. That was weird, sorry. <laughs> okay, so then, so that was day one. Now we're moving on to day two of the trip. So we camped in Yellowstone, right by Yellowstone Lake, super pretty. So then the next morning, well, we didn't have sleeping pads. So it's a very uncomfortable night, eh, is what it is. So anyway, so I couldn't sleep. So as soon as I could tell it started to get a little bit light outside, I just woke up, grabbed my camera and headed down to the lake. And they had these phone booths basically in the campground. It was super cool, it was just like foresty trees and then like a phone booth. So I try to capture that because it's just like an interesting not like moody photo, but it was really interesting, but it was still way too dark to get any sort of photo. So then we moved on to the lake. Isn't this beautiful? I mean, Yellowstone, oh, here's a raven. Yeah, he was going off, he kept talking to me. There you see that? He's a talker, oh, there we go, yeah. But um, yeah, gorgeous. This was like one of the best mornings just because it was so pretty, so quiet, so still. That raven eventually shut up, so it was nicer. I, don't get me wrong, I like birds in the background chirping, doing the thing, very nice, very peaceful. That raven was, eh, eh, eh. Wasn't, wasn't the biggest fan of that particular bird. Um, okay, this was a, a couple who just set their phone up for a time lapse, time lapse, time lapse, and literally they just walked off. They just, they just walked away. Eventually, of course, they came back and got it, but it's just very trusting. You just leave your smartphone up and just, I don't know, with no one around, I literally went right up and took photos of their phone. <laughs> like, I went for, you, you, I'm sure you've seen this idea before on Instagram or whatever. Kind of cool, I'll give it a four. Um, yeah, it's not like that great, but I like the idea. I don't know, I don't know. Anyway, I have no idea what that building is. Somewhere far across the lake, some building over there. But just super pretty, I'm gonna give this a or obviously horizon lines not straight, all those little things. 
but I'm gonna give that a four just just cause very pretty. Which do we like better? I think I like this better. Giving it a four zero. Obviously, I'm well aware that it's totally crooked. We'll we'll be fixing all that later. You know, this is the bad thing with taking so many photos of like the same shot, because then it's like you just have to figure out which one you like more, and it's basically the same photo. But I like this one better. I like this one better. We're keeping them both. We're keeping them both. The only way to stay sane in this world. It's crazy. Plain. Pretty shoreline. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Weird. Weird. Embrace it, Lane. Gorgeous. Yeah. Yeah, sing, buddy, sing. Not a great photo. Don't know why I gave it a four. I'll give it a three. It's just really pretty. The lighting was just perfect. That's the only thing that's good about this photo is the lighting. It's a horrible photo. But I also kind of like it. I don't know why. Um, I took a video of that rock, literally. I took a video of that rock. Ten second video. The waves kind of coming in, crashed on. It was actually, it was pretty cool. Just saying. Just saying. Sunrise. Okay, this is where things get crazy. The photos, definitely my best sunrise shots ever. Just, just hang on. Just hang on. I literally, I took this photo and I was like, oh my god, that's the sun. And so I just went off. Ready? It's about to get pretty crazy. Okay, you see that streak? It's already, already starting to get juicy. The reflection in the water. <sighs> it's already so pretty. Oh my god. We'll, we'll give that a three. We'll give that a three. There we go. It's getting deeper reds in the in the lake here. I like that. We're gonna give that a four. Ooh, we're gonna have that a four. We're gonna take that one back. That's kind of cool. I don't know. I think I like seeing more water than sky. What about you guys? I like that. Pretty 50-50. Yeah, I like that. Don't worry, it keeps getting better. This isn't the highlight. Although that's really cool. That's, that's cool. So cool. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. That's... I impressed myself, what can I say? See, okay, now I'm gonna have to re-go through all these fours and fives to really give them a true rating, because there's just too many. They're so, like that, shot that shot. Look at the different layers of mountains, and then the sun, and then the pretty red haze. So far, I think this is my favorite photo of the shoot. With like the one cloud peeking in over it, that's, I love that. Oh, yeah. Deeper, we'll see it. When we edit them, we'll see which one ends up looking a little better. I like how this one you can see more of the mountains, but this one's deeper, a little more impactful. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. See, it just gets better and better. Now, this is my favorite shot of the shoot. Shot of the shoot. Look at that. Maybe that's what I should name my channel. Shot of the shoot. <laughs> oh my god. These are so pretty. Oh my. This is crazy. I should have to like pay a dollar every time I hit the five button. Then it'll keep me from just making everything fives, you know? I think I should implement that except for instead of getting rid of the money just like goes towards my big gas bill or something <laughs> i i would spend a lot of money okay see now it's like is this even any different than the one a second ago okay no it's like basically the same this one's got a little more water to it i think i like this one a little better we're going to keep them both for now because that's just the way it is pretty Another five, just another dollar to the gas bill. I'm doing a lot of driving. <laughs> okay, yep, yep, it's, yep, yep. Okay, which is better? I like this one. It's, they're really dark. Definitely really dark. So I'll have to lighten those up. Okay, I like that cloud coming through. I kind of like when it was on the other side a little better. Regardless, still incredibly beautiful. Okay, I like that. That's pretty cool. Just wide, whole visual. That long reflection, that's super cool. That's pretty too. I kind of like seeing the sky like that. This is a bummer. This was like the 
kind of the last point. You can see the sun is pretty much just white now. When it was first coming up, it was like kind of dark enough so that it could, I could get the sun red. Now it's just getting white. So we've kind of lost that effect, but it's, it's the water, it's gorgeous. So, oh my God, incredible. The cloud on the sun, you see that there? It, like, it literally just looks like a bird. <laughs> I should just tell people it's a bird. <laughs> No, it's like, I kind of don't like it. I think it distracts a little bit. I don't know. Let me know what you think. Image, uh, hang on. 9629. Image 9629. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> okay. Gorgeous. Ooh. Tough. We'll just give it another five. We've got a lot of fives to go through, folks. Okay, deeper. That's cool. Sun's blown out. Of, of course, it's the sun, but also dark. What else are you going to do, though? Okay. I So here, I was like, I want, I want that sun red again. So I just cranked down the shutter speed super fast. Oh my God, that's so pretty. That is gorgeous, which one? It's really just that blob, kind of to the right of the sun. I think I like it there better. I like them both. Dylan pointed out the, the, um, the clouds going on the bottom third of the sun looks like the Wells Fargo logo. <laughs> Which I think is super accurate and it's perfect. That is the Wells Fargo logo. That's hilarious. Okay, there we go. Now I crank down the shutter speed like for real, for real. Beautiful. It, it, it's like a blood moon or something. I would not think that's sunrise. It's just weird. So that too. That is crazy. Yeah, that's the best. That's right. Yeah. For sure. Nice. Another five. Another five. That's cool. I like kind of the blue and red instead of just reddish. But the sun's really blown out. And well, four. We haven't we haven't touched the four key in a while. We'll give it a four. <laughs> I like this. I like how the background's kind of colorful. Reminds me of Waldorf School. Shout out YRC people watching this. YRC slash NCSA. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I'll give that five. Ooh, that's better. That red is really deep. I like that a lot. Okay, that... Keeps getting better and better. I hope you guys like these as much as I do. You do, I know you do. Don't lie to yourself, you do. Or don't lie to me, I should say. You know you do. Like I said, best sunrise shoot of my life. Okay, here trying to get jiggy with the log. There was a log and I tried to like kind of frame the sun through the log. Clearly it did not work, <laughs> but I tried it. I mean, I don't know, I gave it my all. Oh, there's my foot for comparison, for a size comparison. <laughs> I forget why I put my foot in it for, oh yeah, you know those classic pictures you see on Instagram, just like people's feet hanging off the edge or something. I was just like, yeah, whatever, I'll try the, the foot photo. This is the log. Okay, this is where I tried the log. Kind of cool, right? Like, you know, that like the V of the log kind of shapes the reflection in the sun. I like the idea of it, but I don't think I really executed it quite properly. That's okay. I think it just distracts from it, though. 
It doesn't add to it, it distracts. I'll give it, I'll give it a three. I'll give it a three. Super pretty lighting though. Just like look at the water, all that pink, red, whatever color that is. <laughs> and the mountains. Yeah, it's safe to say I love this bush. That... Again, I think the log distracts from it, but we'll give it a four. We'll give it a four, call it there. That's just too distracting. Pretty, really underexposed though. Yeah, and the, and the reflection and the sun are all white. That's why I underexposed it, because I was trying to make those have color, not just be blown out. Mm. I think the others are better. That is really cool though. I'll give it a four. Oh yeah, okay, now I try to just get some nice, this is like, one, just beautiful. But I tried to get like a, um, I don't know, like a Windows desktop background. Could, could you see that? Uh, I could see it. I could see it. Not quite, it's not perfect, not the perfect Windows background, but it's, it's pretty good. It's up there. We're gonna give it a five. That's beautiful. That is more than four. So this one, I definitely, I like this one on this side better. Center, it's kind of cool. I think I like that better. I'll, I'll give it this four too. We basically already have that shot. Yeah, ugh, ugh. I think this is basically when I called it quits. It was also, it wasn't that cold. It was cold, but it wasn't like, I mean, there's no snow on the ground, so it wasn't like freezing, but it drained my camera battery really quick. I was at half battery, by the time I finished the shoot, it was completely dead. It's like perfect timing, honestly, but still, the camera should not die after half charge of just a, I don't know, 20, 25 minute lake shoot, you know? That's pretty, not as pretty, but still really pretty. So then I was walking back to camp, going to get Dylan, and I stumbled across more just insanely beautiful elk. Look at that. I mean, it's very dark photos. The sun, the sun was up, as you saw, but it hadn't gone over the trees yet. So it was just a lot of the not lakeshore was still dark, which is what you're seeing here. Um, but beautiful animals nonetheless. Their antlers are just huge. I can't get over that. In a way, I like that. Kind of like the mystery with the head being gone. No, it's just weird. I want to like the photo, but I think I just like the animal. I don't like the photo, I just like the animal. Nice, oh, oh, it was pooping. So I'm trying to capture it, but I was too late. <laughs> yeah, okay, then this, we were moving, um, or walking back to, we were walking back, we were just walking around some trees to try to get a different angles. Really hard, because it was in the campsite, so there were just tents everywhere, so it's like, you only had a few angles you could shoot, otherwise you just have a yellow tent, which we actually got, I'll show you that photo. Um, so there's only a few angles, which made it slightly difficult, but still we can't complain seeing a beautiful animal in our campsite, like that's basically handed to us. Um, but anyway, so while we were walking there, this elk just like looked at me through the trees. So, oh, <laughs> but super pretty. Underexposed though, It's just it was just too dark out, so. Um, yeah, I had a 1200 ISO with the 1 over 1000 shutter speed just for to make it a sharp photo, but super dark. Um, you can kind of see right here that there's um, like a little bit of sunlight starting to come through and same with right here. So it's like perfect lighting time, but also just a little bit too early. There we go. Now we're getting lighter. Now it's light. <laughs> so there's all the campers and cars and everything. Um, too busy. I would like this photo, but this is part of an RV. Don't like that. This branch here cuts it off. It's light behind him, not on him. But I love the bloody antlers. I mean, I think it's just that season where they rub off their fuzz. Like, I want to like it, but there's too much going on. You don't know what to look at. So, same with this. This was cool. I tried to frame it with that elk in front with his neck and his antler to frame the other elk behind him, his head and antlers. So it like kind of worked, but just with the RV in the background, it just kills it. It's, you can't do anything with it. So big bummer. I like this though. This, I don't know why I love this shot. I loved it the moment I took it. I love the like fuzz looks kind of droopy almost. Um, it looks kind of low quality. I think probably just really high ISO, but anyway, 
I just, I love the shot. I just, it holds some like mystery, dramatic moodiness to it. I like it. This, okay, <laughs> remember this photo, this is funny. <laughs> Okay, eating in front of the bathroom, no big deal, whatever, right? Well, one, weird, but no big deal. <laughs> so anyways, we'll just, we'll come back to it. Here's that tent, like, imagine being in that tent and you just open it and there's this giant elk hanging out right outside. That'd be sick, that'd be sick. <laughs> Especially because they're so tamed. I mean, there's so many people around, as you could imagine. So they're like, just gentle, obviously, they will still murder you if you try to touch them <laughs> but um okay here's here's the bathroom guy so this guy was in the bathroom and just taking photos of once he moved on so that was just I, I don't know i just found that really funny that he's in front of the bathroom and this guy just peers out with his camera <laughs> what a good photo taking location um really pretty lighting on the elk's antlers here though look at that very pretty lighting just not a very pretty setting, more of a comical setting. <laughs> well, okay, we'll rate it a one. This is where I would use the one key. The one just means save it, not a good photo, but it's just funny or something about it, you just gotta save it. That's when I use the one. Have yet to find a use for the two button. Two button, they're still in, look at her. That's awesome, she's so happy. Oh my goodness, what a happy girl. This photo could have been so great, I love it so much. I mean, I don't, I want to love it so much, but the. That's just the road that's in the first third of the photo, so that totally kills it. You can't see his eye, but if you, I was going for really close up, see the eye, see the blood on the antlers, and it's just face in the grass, like, that just tells such a story, but I couldn't get that. I couldn't get close enough, my lens wasn't long enough, he's right on the road, there just weren't quite the right variables. I could Photoshop the road out, and then like this photo could maybe work, I could clean it up a little bit, because like, look at those antlers disturbing <laughs> but that's okay I'll, I'll still give it a three jeez just look at that i'll give that a four i like the antlers i think that's really interesting not the best photo but it's just an interesting photo okay so we had moved on at this point we had packed up camp moved on day two which was also our last day it's just a one night camping trip here we came across a black bear you can see him there we didn't get any great photos of him he was pretty just hidden as you could imagine, but he was going after these berries. He was super cute. So people just kept getting closer and closer to him though, like very close. The bear didn't seem to care, but I mean, one person just trips and falls down the hill. Ugh. So we, uh, we stayed a little further back and just zoomed in, but um, really pretty bear. Cool watching him grab the branches too. Just jump up with his arm, not jump, but reach up with his arm, grab him down. Really cool. Is that my last photo? That's it guys. So yeah, as you can see, no great photos of the bear. Okay, we've gone through them all. That was 575 photos you went through with me. Congratulations. I'll see you in part two for actually editing. I'll probably just select five to 10 of these to actually edit with you guys so you don't have to watch me edit all 66. Um, but yeah, so see you in part two for the actual editing of the top 10 photos. See ya.